salt, as you can see, have a very, very nice, deep, um, burgundy red type color. And mind you, this has not been glossed yet. This is just, you know, the basic paint by itself. Um, both pieces have to be coats, so that's good to go. The next thing I have to do now is hit it with the uh, adhesion promoter, three coats of that for each piece. After that, I can then go ahead with the airbrush and start doing it on my shadows, all that good stuff, painting these here, you know, bright um, yellow, well, kind of yellow orange really. Um, and then of course, painting up in here, you know, a nice, nice bright yellow. And the same thing on this piece here, in the design, painting yellow on that as well. Once those two are done, I can go ahead and um, seal up each piece. Once that's done, I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to install the light in there, put the cover on the back of that so that's permanently anchored in place. Then I have to um, attach this to the gauntlet on the front there. And I'm going to put a piece of um, elastic in here so it'll go up and down as the client moves his wrist back and forth. So it'll give him a lot of movement, you know, to it. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and spray this down real quick. I'll be right back. So I got the I got the first um you know I've had this clay for a year. oh plasticine plasticine non sulfur um modern clay monster clay is awesome but it's kind of pricey so you know all depends up on the budget. <laughs> You know, when I, if I had a choice, you know, and the money, yeah, I would go Monster Clay for sure. It's just really, really good for this stuff, you know. Ah, thank you, thank you. Okay. But yeah, but so far... This is looking quite sexy. Get a little tint up with it because um, what you don't smooth out will always show up 
um, in the mold, always. And then you gotta turn around, and now you gotta break out your Dremel, and you have to sand stuff down to get it, you know, as smooth as you want it. So it's a lot easier and smarter to just do that during this phase. Cause that just means that's that much less work you have to do on the finishing end. Unless you want it to look rough, then that's all good then. And this here is a mixture of rough and smooth. So much for the follow, T Cart. Welcome to the clan. You are now a proud dragon warrior. Depends, man. Uh, a lot of times you can get Plastino on sale. Yeah, I pay. I pay like fifteen for a five-pound block of Plastino. So. <laughs> this is a big-ass dagger, believe it or not. <laughs> it's supposed to have been no bigger than this. Ended up being about that big. <laughs> but yeah, I wanted something just really, really unique. You know, um, I wanted a very, very meaty dagger. I wanted it to have a fantasy but otherworldly look to it. You know, and I'm like um, last night I had a dream, you know, about an actual sword that looked similar to this in my dream. And like as it attacked, it actually it's like like drunk in the blood of its victims. You know, and and, and it had like, these holes in the end, you know, kind of raised up just like this. And that's where the blood went in. So I woke up, I was like, I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to use that same exact idea I had in my dream and apply it to the dagger. And so far, I'm loving how it came coming out. It, Jordan, you probably missed yeah, we had two weeks of no deep bot because um I forget I went away for the um convention and whatnot. And I had to do some changes to deep bot as well. So that could be why. But you know what? Since everybody right now is in the channel and they've been hanging tough with me. Um, I will give everybody 200 Dragon Bones. Hello. Hey, Grafius, thank you so much for the follow. Welcome to the clan. You are now a proud Dragon Warrior.
all types of wild shit, man. Draconic battles, angels and demons, wild shit. <laughs> Got the quite welcome. Okay, let's see. I need to get this area a bit more smooth than what it currently is. So I'm going to hit that side with some heat. Did I get your ring? If I've seen your two brothers, no. send me in Twitch your mailing address and then I will go ahead to the postal service and I will um, input in the mailing address, have them wear the dagger, all that good stuff uh, and then once they give me the, the price for shipping I come back home I send you a message uh, with that fee and an invoice to your email and once you go ahead and pay that I will go right back out and uh, ship the dagger out to you. And for anybody else that's interested in getting a dagger or this particular one and um, you don't win the um, raffle, you can buy the dagger for 150 bucks. <clears throat> and as soon as I get that, you know, cast it, paint and whatnot and signed, I will get it out to you. silver or gold as an accent color. 